Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebies of the Week. Now I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short and sweet and to the point, but if you know that you need more practice, I definitely encourage you to check out Taken on the Best at McCarthyMathAcademy.com. The focus for our freebie this week is, drum roll, Equation Editor. Let's not waste any more time, no, no, let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own. Then when you're ready, come on back and you can check your work. All right, fourth grade, welcome back. So this one says that Mr. Jackson is buying tickets for a school play. Each ticket costs $8 and he has $150 to spend. Here's the question, how many tickets can he buy? Okay, so he's buying tickets. We know how much he has in all to spend, right? How much money does he have in all? $150, and he's taking that $150 and buying tickets, right? That costs $8. He's taking his total and distributing it evenly or equally what operation is happening if we know the total and we're distributing equally? Division, right? So here we have, just a little quick picture, we have $150 and we're distributing $8 for this ticket, $8 for this ticket, and so on until we figure out how many tickets he can buy. So we are dividing. That would be 150 divided by 8. And so if you weren't sure that you needed to divide, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try to divide this one on your own. 150 divided by eight, and then come on back to figure out what your quotient or your answer is for this division problem. Welcome back, you have divided using your strategy. I today, I'm, I love the partial quotients method. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use the um, area model for this one here. You could have used any strategy to divide 150 divided by eight and I am going to use the area model. So I know my divisor of eight goes outside and my dividend of $150 goes inside. Okay, so for this one, I know that I could take out 10 eights. So I'm going to take out times 10 eights, that would be 80. And if I subtract that, that would be 70. I still have more to pull from. So I can bring up my 70 here. And I know a party rocking with the eights for sure. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. And then it would be 72 is too much. So times eight, okay, eight of those would be 64. Subtract that and we get six. Okay, and six is our remainder. It's less than eight, so we know that we're finished. So what we need to do is add these two together. 10 plus eight equals 18 with a remainder of six. And I wanna make sure that that is correct. So 18 times eight, that would be 64. If I multiply this out, I get 144 plus my remainder of six, yes, which would equal 150. So just checking using multiplication to make sure I was correct. Okay, so the quotient is 18 remainder six, but the question here says, how many tickets can he buy? So he can buy 18 tickets, and what does that remainder of six mean? That's how much money that he will have left over, right? He will have $6 left. So how many tickets can he buy? We would not put a remainder of six in there, we would just say 18, and you could do that by tapping the one and tapping the eight on your computer-based test. So that is how you solve this kind of problem. Go ahead and pause the video, make any additional notes that you need to make, and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. 
If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. <laughs> Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. So make sure that if you really want something, if you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you've got to put in time to practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers.